I am Natsunda Inegunjisha, uh, that's my name. I did education for my first degree, economics geography. Then I did a master's in public administration and management. My son got issues. I had one boy then, one child, and he got issues with a maid and couldn't speak and look at one good challenge. So I left my employment to come and attend my son. And for 12 good years, I was at home. That's 12 years of losing friends. That's 12 years of losing productivity. That's 12 years of uh, feeling useless because your self-esteem goes really down. You feel you don't measure up. And uh, I lost my self-esteem so much. So when my last born got into, they call it reception. So that's when I started thinking, what do I do, what do I do? But I already had a problem with my hair. I, I wouldn't know exactly what, but I had lost my hair. But most people kept telling me, sheer butter, sheer butter, sheer butter. So that's how I got interested in this. So I got a chemist and told her, what can we do with this sheer butter? That's part of my hair. So these are what finally came to zero on as the solution. And when I realized that they were working for me, I, I came to the market to also give a solution to other women because there are so many women that suffer with that. And then one started picking, and they were asking, you have good products, why don't you get us products for the skin? And so that's how I came up with the line for the body also. Um, sorry, by sorry, here we are. See what has been home for me is that it is a free space for women. It is a space where you go feel free to make noise, talk about whatever it is that is disturbing you, ask for this and that, and to me that makes a whole difference. Now when I came to see when I had one product. This is pure sheer butter, and this is how I used to brand it. So when I entered that space of CUM, I started learning things like branding, things like how you present yourself in the market. And I remember one time there was a facilitator who, who asked us a challenging question and said, if you were not the owner of your product and you went to the supermarket and your product was on shelf, there are other products, would you buy your product? Deep inside me, I felt I would not buy this product. And so that's the challenge that I started with. I needed to rebrand. I needed to have better packaging. I needed to have better labels. So I have this, this, and this three sizes now. And then over time, I realized I needed to add value because this is pure sheer butter. So as they keep drumming that song of value addition, value addition, value addition, I picked on it and realized that you can actually make more money when you add value to the raw material. So I started adding value. And that's where you're seeing all these products. So really, uh, this is a range of 10 products now, from where I started to here. And I, I give credit to Siwen because they've seen me through all this. At Siwen, if you walk into the doors, you receive that atmosphere that I told you, a safe space. So you feel free to go and ask them about anything. This time I was going to pitch, and before I took my final deck to the panelists, I went there and they helped me. Please change this, please change this, please change this. Because when they, you get there, they receive you as their own. And, and they give you this feeling that they believe in you, which you will not actually get them there. Entrepreneurship journey is a lonely journey. You sit, you stress, but when you walk to people that show you that they believe in you, that actually on the, the right track and they tell you that you can actually make it, that's a big encouragement that you do not underestimate. And you don't get it every day. So when you know that there's a space where you can go and get what you want, it is very important. There's a time I was supposed to write an abstract and I had no clue. I didn't know how to write it. So I went in, I hadn't written, and the habit was like, ah, get a pen and paper. Right there. I wrote it, I sent it to someone, typed this, and I sent it to where it was going. And it, it did so well. 
this is what I have been using over and over again. When they say, what, what's this? What is Rwanda organic? I just speak where I wrote that one and say. So if they make life easier. If uh, I needed a quality assurance, I'll tell them, I need a quality assurance person. I need this. Everything that I tell them I need, I don't know, somehow they know. And they have connections. There's a time I was very stuck with trademark. I was pursuing UNBS. I was supposed to get my marks. Everything was done. And they told me you need to have a trademark before you get your marks. Imagine I've gone through the audit. I've gone through the test. I've done whatever failed. I have passed. But I can't get my marks because they need a trademark. I imagine that was an excuse. A trademark took me so long. I hit the dead end every time I tried the other. Until I went to Fadira. So I was like, ah, there's this person. And the guy helped me about one week. Very cheap. So these are valuable spaces, especially for us women. And so I really, really, I am so impressed that you came to visit me to hear that my story with Siwen. And that is before I tell you that they sell my products the most. When they tell you, you have an outlet? Yes, I have an outlet in Tina. That's my outlet. <laughs> so they have sold a lot of my products. They, when I feel comfortable to say, please reach out. This is my outlet. And of course, as they sell, they help me make money. Siwen has a special place in my heart because it's the only place where I can go, feel comfortable, and even share whatever burdens me, except for business. I can go to Padera and tell her whatever is affecting me. And we talk woman to woman. And they actually recently they helped me. I wanted to do some corporate responsibility, social responsibility, just to give back to the community. And, and there's a project they partnered with, Vendela School Program. So I moved with them, I saw what actually happens. And I was able to get a child in uh, I, I, We are sponsoring as a company. And, and to us that is joy, to find that Ashraf can get school fees, go and excel. He's a very brilliant guy, brilliant young man, very a free soul. So for us to reach out, to give out some share but of these children to use, to help someone go to school, it's a plus. And so we also feel that we have given back. But I'll talk about myself. There's something very good you have done in, is it Bombo? Uh, production. Yes, the production yes. yes. And I'm sure that's going to help very well. Many, many. Now, for me, I already have my production place or plant or office or facility. So what I need see when to do is what I've always told you. My biggest problem is marketing. Mm. So if you can get some of us the, the big markets that we desire, I need to sell tons of share butter. That machine can do three tons a day. Three tons of nuts, which means one ton of share butter. Mm. All I want is to see that I am giving out volumes selling volumes. My strength lies in production. My weakness lies in marketing. Otherwise, I really have no other thing to say because that is what is on my mind right now. I read somewhere that uh, money grows on fees of consistency. So, as we do this, especially us in value addition, if I am adding value to share nuts and getting share butter, how is my share butter? Is it consistent? Mm. You, oh, I produce today and then tomorrow it is uh, dirty or the order is different. Or if I am to produce this product five years down the road, the quantity should be your share butter. If I tell you that that hair combo will regrow your hair, that's a promise I'm making. Mm. Am I keeping it? So that is consistency. It doesn't mean that along the way we shan't fall. We shall fall. We shall have a lot of hurdles that we need, but we need to be resilient. Knowing what you want, also to do. keep to your promise. Keep delivering on your promise. That is what I want.